When it comes to my projects, I'm still in the planning stages of them. However, my ideas for my projects are music education and leadership. My first project is a secondary school music education project, where I hope to work with Gloucestershire Music on a possible lesson or project based on the brief that they give me, which allows me to work with students of any age. They work with music education hub Make Music Gloucester, which help to put on and deliver music activities in and out of schools, which gives me the opportunity to work with both students and adults. Gloucestershire Music provides school with whole class instrumental lessons, special projects, workshops and support, which is something I'm looking to be part of for my project. An example of the kind of projects they do is the Gloucestershire Youth Choir, who at the end perform at an event that Gloucestershire Music put on themselves. My second project is a series of online videos on songwriting for varying stages of songwriting. For example, starting off with how to rewrite lyrics for songs, which would entail picking a well-known song, giving ways and examples of how to rewrite those lyrics to the same melody it was written with. I would also create a space where people could share their ideas, their completed work, give each other feedback, as well as it providing a safe space for creative outlet and growth. The people who use my videos to help with their songwriting would be able to comment any questions or help they need and I will respond in the comments in any way that I can. Or they could put it on the shared space and not only get help from me but also find out how others overcome similar difficulties or can answer your questions too. Then I could do videos about different styles or ways to write songs like changing the order you write in such as starting with lyrics then chords, then melody, or any version of these. I may also do videos giving tips on how to overcome writer's block or any snags people may hit throughout the writing process that people go through or that they use. The next video would have influence from any comments that may be left on the previous one. My target audience for those videos are anybody who's starting out in songwriting, looking for ways to write songs, or even has been dealing with writer's block, so it is looking for ways to change things and shift that block. I choose to do videos for my second project because it makes them accessible to anyone for free, which helps them both in an educational and informative sense. Also, I used to use videos on YouTube to help me study, revise, or even learn new material. So making these videos could do the same for others as they did for me. In a post-COVID world, easily accessible learning and online help and community is something that is beneficial for everyone. Looking at my skills audit, I've had some experience with teaching and doing workshops throughout my two years of doing A-levels. For example, during my first year of A-levels, I helped teach a year 10 class and when the teacher fell ill, I continued the lessons in her place with the support of a supply teacher if needed, which meant I was presenting and teaching GCSE music based off the national curriculum that was in place at the time. There was a folder with a printed copy of everything the students needed to cover or learn along with examples of work and how the grading of work happens. At the start of teaching with the music teacher, each student had a workbook to help them get through the theory exam. An example of the type of worksheets they were giving can be seen on the next slide. From the examples you can see, I gave them both informational packs that they could read or use to help them answer the questions in the booklets they had. And I gave them group activities that help them learn from each other to allow the information to sink in and gain a deeper understanding. When I took over teaching the class, I noticed the lack of enthusiasm from the students as they got irritable if they had to do a lot of written work. So I changed the lesson plan to them doing just one piece of written work at the start of the lesson to focus them. And then once they showed me the completed work, they could do practical work. Alongside this, I had to put together two development music workshops for a group of Year 6 students that took place across two weeks. 
The group came to my secondary school for two consecutive Fridays, where I taught them a short segment or skill of music, which they then went on to perform for their school show that was coming up. I based the workshop on the idea that music can be made from anything. I used a plastic cup to prove this point. As they were young students, I wanted to teach them something that was simple, but fun, engaging, and that they could adapt and use in the future. I decided to teach them the cup song, as it was something that was popular, both for young students and as an activity. I got feedback from questionnaires and emails from their teachers, who I had gave my email to in case they needed to contact me regarding the workshop sessions, saying they enjoyed the workshops and wanted them to continue on a weekly basis, which sadly I wasn't able to do due to the fact that I was still doing my A-levels and teaching at the time. That project was for my music submission. From these experiences and seeing the effect of both teaching according to a curriculum and teaching short workshops based on skills and enjoyment, I have learnt that a career in teaching is something I would like to pursue as seeing the joy on students' faces and being able to make a difference to their education is such a fulfilling job. I've got some experience in making online videos for lessons due to last year's module, Making Music Your Business, where I made an online YouTube lesson for year nine students, where I picked three types and uses of music and looked into why they were used for that purpose and the deeper meaning of music. I based that class on the national curriculum, which stated that year nine pupils look at the way music is used. After making the video lesson last year, I looked at the way other YouTube educators presented their material or lessons to find ways to attract or increase interest in my lessons. Through that research, I have found that using examples and material that is current and popular helps viewers stay engaged and giving real world uses for what is being taught or given as guidance for those who wish to watch the lessons can help the viewers find connections between music, songwriting, and everyday creativity. I also found that by making the lesson short but informative helps viewers to keep focused and watch the whole video as longer videos may contain unnecessary information or the viewer gets bored of listening and gets distracted. For my goals and what success would look like conceptually for my online workshop project, I would get to deliver online lessons or workshops on YouTube based around songwriting, which I explained in more detail on previous slides about how they would be on songwriting lessons that I will plan, but also base them off of feedback and comments from viewers. Another conceptual success would be that people liked and enjoyed the video, but also that they learned something or gained some information that helps them develop their songwriting skills or help those who are just starting off with ways to write songs. I would like to feel comfortable making online music workshops and be able to make consistently well-made content that is easy to understand, is straight to the point, funny and engaging. Theoretical success would be interactions with my videos, such as likes, shares, comments and gaining subscribers. If I gain subscribers or get comments on my videos, I will like to make an online space where people who have used my videos to help them, they can share their work, give each other feedback, and also ask specific questions where I will respond and help in any way that I can. The likes, shares and comments will not only increase my view and teaching repertoire, but can also help develop my teaching style and include more of what people want to see and what they need to know to make songwriting both an enjoyable experience as well as an emotional, creative outlet. When it comes to my secondary school education project, the conceptual framework for success is that I would like the chance to get to work with people and specifically students in music education 
to help with either the selected topic or the specific subject of the brief that I will hopefully receive or a project given based on a brief that was given to me by Gloucestershire Music. I would also like to feel more confident in my teaching skills and how I present to a class. My success in a theoretical form would be being hired for teaching or a leadership role where I could work regularly with students or classes. Another idea for theoretical success could be joining or being part of a company that works closely with students in music education or workshops, be it private lessons or small groups that are focused on a set idea or area or even a group that is open to discussion of what they want to do with music, using the workshops to help with their individual goals for the future and the achievements throughout their journey. Along the same lines as that would be having the opportunity to work with students for secondary education specifically, or just any kind of education in general.